Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Civil Classroom. Today we are going to solve another numerical of rise and fall method. We have already solved a numerical in the previous video. In this video, the third reading was taken on a benchmark of assumed elevation of 100 meter here. So this is uh, question number two of rise and fall method. Here solution given RL of benchmark is equal to 100 meter this is a third reading the benchmark is taken at the third reading so now we have to find out the areas of the other points so given uh first we will draw a rough sketch of the readings taken in the field so the first reading is here 0 0.685 The instrument, the instrument must be here. The first reading is 0 0.685. Then the second reading here is 1.315. The instruments was shifted after the third and sixth reading. That means after third, after this reading and fourth, fifth, sixth after this reading for the first instrument this reading must be the fourth side reading and this must be the intermediate side reading here so this is 1.315 and this reading here is minus 1.825 this is uh, the third reading was taken on a benchmark this is benchmark where RL is equal to 100 meter. RL is 100 meter here. Now, after the third reading, the instrument is shifted. So, the instrument must be here. And the backside after shifting the instrument must be this. Minus 0 0.635. And this must be the intermediate reading. That is 1.205. And before shifting, this must be the uh, this must be the final reading. This must be the final reading for this instrument. That will be the fourth side here. That is one point two three five. Again, the instrument is uh, shifted after the sixth reading. So the uh, back side for this instrument here will be two point six three one, and the intermediate side, and this is the fourth side. So this is. 1.355 and this is minus 2.015 so now we will uh, we will draw a level field book here this is a level field book in which the first column is for a station then this is for back side intermediate sides and the fourth side will be for rise and fall then we have RL and remarks this is for sum so here are station uh, this is station 1 2 this is benchmark and 3 4 5 and 6 so this is station 1, 2, benchmark 3, 4, 5, and 6 here. Now, the backside trading for a station 1 is 0 0.685. Then, this is the intermediate side that is 1.315. Then, this is uh, bench at the benchmark station, this is four side minus 1.825. And here is also a backside after shifting the instrument that is 0 0.635 this is minus minus 0 0.635 then there is an intermediate side 1.205 then the fourth side 1.235 and 2.3 uh 2.631 2.631 the intermediate side that is 7 5 that is 1.355 and the last trading here is a four side that is minus 2.3 zero one five so it starts with the back side and ends at the fourth side now we will calculate if there is a rise or fall so for calculating the rise and fall we have we can 
calculate back side minus intermediate side intermediate side minus intermediate side intermediate side minus four side or uh, back side minus four side so if uh, if the answer is positive then th there will be a rise and if there is a negative then that will be a fall so here back side minus intermediate side 0 0.685 minus 1.315 so there is a fall that will be uh, 0 0.63 0 0.63 so the calculation goes like this subtracting 1.315 minus this will give the answer here and intermediate side minus four side back side minus intermediate side intermediate side minus this now we have intermediate side minus four side that is 1.315 minus minus and then this minus sign will be positive that will be 1.825 that will be a rise of 3.14 3.14 then we have uh this that will be minus 0 0.635 minus 1.205 which is minus 1.84 that will be a fall 1.84 then we have intermediate side minus 4 side that is 1.205 minus 1.235 that is again a fall of 0 0.03 here then we have back side minus intermediate side that is 2.631 minus 1.355 which is 1.276 and then 1.355 minus uh, minus and minus will be positive 2.015 which is equal to 3.37 of rise here now we have rl at the benchmark which is 100 so this is a given and if we are coming from upper to the downward direction then full rise will be added in rl and fall will be subtracted and if we are going in the backward direction from bottom to the top then rise will be subtracted and fall will be added to the rl so here for these two stations the aerial uh, we are going upward so the rise will be subtracted and fall will be added here 100 minus this rise 3.14 100 minus 3.14 will give 96.86 and 96 uh, 0.86 for fall will be added here since we are going upward direction so 96 0.86 plus 0 0.63 will be 97.49 now we are going downward so rise will be added and fall will be subtracted so 100 minus 1.84 is 98.16 98.16 minus 0 0.03 is 98.13 98.3 plus 1.276 is 99.406 and 99.406 plus 3.37 rise is added here that will be 102.776 so we have now calculated all the rls here all the rls of the stations this is the benchmark here this is a changing point this is the first changing point and this is the second changing point cp2 now the sum of backside is here 0 0.685 minus 0 0.635 plus 2.631 is 2.681 here then summation of foresight is minus 1.825 plus 1.235 minus 2.015 which is equal to minus 2.0 605 now summation of rise is 3.14 plus 1.276 plus 3.37 which is equal to 7.786 and summation of fall here is 0 0.663 uh, plus 1.84 plus 0 0.03 which is equal to 2.5 we will now do arithmetic check if the calculation is right or not for the arithmetic check we have
समेशन ऑफ बैक साइड माइनस समेशन ऑफ फोर साइड इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ राइज माइनस समेशन ऑफ फॉल विच इज इक्वल टू लास्ट आर एल माइनस फर्स्ट आर एल सो समेशन ऑफ बैक साइड माइनस समेशन ऑफ फोर साइड विल बी टू पॉइंट सिक्स एट वन माइनस दिस विल बी पॉजिटिव दिस विल बी एडेड नाउ टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो फाइव दैट इज फाइव पॉइंट टू एट सिक्स विच इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ राइज माइनस समेशन ऑफ फॉल दैट इज सेवन पॉइंट सेवन एट सिक्स माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव पॉइंट टू एट सिक्स अगेन एंड नाउ लास्ट आर एल माइनस फर्स्ट आर एल वन हंड्रेड टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन सिक्स माइनस फर्स्ट आर एल इज नाइन्टी सेवन पॉइंट फोर नाइन बिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट टू एट सिक्स हेयर सो द कैलकुलेशन हेयर इज चेक्ड ऑल द कैलकुलेशन वी हैव डॉन and the rls calculated are here correct so this is all for today's video we will solve numerical of labeling by height of collimation method in another video thank you so much for watching my video and please like and subscribe